Okay, in this one I'm going to show you how we use um, COSM. Okay, COSM is a site that pushes data to FME servers. So there's two types of sensors. There's those that can push data and there's those that um, support pull only. So in this case we're going to show how FME server can work with um, COSM which pushes data. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, we're going to go onto the COSM site here and we're going to look for Fitzrovia, okay, and we're going to uh, add a sensor. This is a building in London, London, England. We're going to add a feed onto um, building eight. So first of all, I'm going to go. This is the Google, the Cosm feed, Google Fusion table. I'm first of all going to delete all the rows out of this, okay. So I'm going to do that, okay, and then. Um, Let's just make sure that that worked right. Okay, excellent. It's empty. Okay, now I have. I'll show you the workspace. What I've done is I've built a workspace that um, I built a custom format. And so what this custom format does is it looks after all the ugly details of decoding the JSON from Cosm. And so now for any sensor on COSM with this custom format which will be put on the FME store I can simply create a drag and drop workspace to um, to COSM. So here's the workspace I've published this workspace to um, FME uh, server and I've registered it with a topic so if I look at the topic here I'll log on to FME server Okay, my friend goes server dash admin. Okay. I log in there, and if I look at the notifications on this one, you'll see that I have a topic called Cosm Record. So it's called Cosm Record. And I've registered that workspace we just looked at with it. And so this Cosm this workspace I can now post to the URL that's going to publish to this topic and this workspace will store any sensor from Cosm and publish it to Google Docs. Now of course I could um, move it anywhere into any old database but the point is I want to show how easy this is. Okay so we're going to go here we're at building 8 okay currently I don't have a sensor associated with it so I'll sh show the triggers there are none okay and I want to add a trigger so I'm going to do an HTTP post so it's going to send me a message I'm going to say when any new value is there next now where are we going to post to well in interest of time I've um, save the post value there so I'm going to edit I'm going to copy this and you can see it's just using the rest API it's publishing to the notification topic of Cosm record that's it and um, of course it doesn't specify the workspace or anything I could have multiple workspaces and by publishing to that topic the contents of this is passed the post body which that sends is simply passed to the workspace I have a custom format there to decode it and now I'm able to get the value of this. So I can simply paste this in here and I say next, create, and now what I have is I have a trigger that is associated with this. So let's see if I've been lucky enough to get anything posted yet. And um, okay, look at that. That was quick wasn't it? That was lucky. So um, I can also of course visualize because any of these buildings actually have a map so you can see there's one in the United Kingdom. Well just to illustrate let's go to and we'll search for, we'll add another one, let's search for Chicago. Okay and how hot is my condo? Again uh, show trigger, add trigger, HTTP post, when the value, any new value next where should I post to exact same create and so now um, that is going to be um, triggered so if I go back here we can see if we're lucky again I don't think we're going to be lucky twice nope but of course Cosm enables me to trigger it myself I can go here and just simply send a debug 
So that's going to send a test trigger. Okay, now I go back to Google Docs. Okay, get rid of this one here. That's the old one. You click here. And now I have, oh, look at that. Two from there. And I actually did get another one from that. Well, that's a, a yet another feed. But here's the one that says true. That's actually the debug record that it is sent. So I even know if it's debug or not. And I can go visualize map. And now I'm going to see all the different things on the map. Okay. And it zoomed into Chicago for some reason. Who knows why? Doesn't matter. Probably because I selected that. Okay. So visualize map. And it should, uh, okay. I want to go out, not in. Okay. 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 There's the one in Chicago. Oh, there's one in Toronto that I got before. And there's the one in London. So there you go. That's as hard as it is to now consume Cosm feeds. I could consume any old Cosm feed I wanted. And um, I'm going to see it. I'm going to get all the updates. And um, I'm able to uh, start to work. So there you go. Very, very simple to start working with these real-time data feeds that are in a push environment.